buddy uh, is here, Matt Ross. Good to see you. Happy Good New morning. Year. Happy New Year. How were your holidays? Oh, they were great. Got a chance to see the family. Good. So it was really nice. Good. Okay. Well, you've got a variety. One prickly guy right here. Oh, I yeah. really love that plant. I love actually all these. Uh, some of those are medicinal. Yeah, we're right going to talk today about the uh, edible attributes of some of these plants. These are agaves and aloes. So one of the major things that uh, you're going to see really sparking up at the uh, beginning of the new season, the new year, is people going out and buying plants for each other. And they want to get the hottest, the latest, the coolest thing that's coming out. Okay. Well, one of the cool things you can do is kind of a combo gift for things like bachelor parties, uh, bachelorette parties, or um, other fun events is to not only bring the tequila, but to bring the plant that it came from too. That's an aguave a plant right there? Yeah, yeah, for a little memorable experience. So this guy right here is the star of the show. This is the uh, blue agave. And this is what they actually make tequila out of. And there's only one little region of Mexico that they get all the tequila that we get to uh, well, enjoy from. We've seen tequila prices skyrocket the past five years because these plants are supposedly rare. Yes, they're, they're a little bit more rare than we originally thought they were. And it's because we harvest about 100 to 300 million of these out of the wild. Oh, wow. And it takes about 100 years for you to be able to use a agave to make tequila. So for all of you at home that are like, wow, I could turn my uh, sun deck into a <laughs> distillery, uh, you're going to have some issues because there's some uh, trade laws between Mexico. Gotcha. And these guys normally take about 100 years to flower. Wow. And what you're actually eating or drinking or consuming when you do tequila is the picon, which is the middle section of this yeah, plant. Yeah, that's a pretty thick stalk um, right there. Yeah, and this guy's about seven or eight years old. So he's got about 90 years old before he ends how, up in a bottle. How big will an agave plant get? Now, blue, blue agave in the highlands yeah. of Mexico will get about four feet in height. So wow. it'll get quite large and, uh, with the spice going about three foot. And you said 100 years till they flower. Is that when they start to reproduce? 100 years after yeah, they after, start after growing? Yeah, after 100 years of growing, they're going to reproduce by seed and by flower. But what I can show you is, you, if you take a look with both the agaves and the aloes, they'll do what's called pupping. Mm -hmm. And that's a root uh, asexual division. So there's no uh, love making going on here. Uh, they just kind of spread by root. And as long as I have a node for growth, it'll continue to grow. I've okay. got other really cool agaves here, and we'll probably talk about those first before we get into the aloes. Uh, I've got a quad color down there. I've got a don't kiss me con here. And one thing you notice with your aloe, or your agaves instead of your aloes, is they normally come with a vicious tip. They do. These things so you are look sharp. At these, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah You've got some you. really vicious tips here. Right. So if you are giving this to someone as a houseplant, make sure they either have a really good pair of leather gloves or a really good uh, uh, presence with their plants because these plants can give you a little wicked uh, remembrance. That is right. Mm. So if you want to good celebrate stuff. here, we could take a little bit of this agave nectar. Uh -huh. So this is actually something that's really hot in the market right now. Let me see this. This is agave nectar. And it's a substitute for honey and a substitute for syrup. So a lot of people are starting to use that on their uh, pancakes. So it's sweet. So yeah, if you want to open that up and take a little uh, uh, top of that, and we can also try a little bit of this uh, tequila here to give you an idea of what the flavor's like. Now remember that the flavor's coming off of the blue agave only. And it's going to give you a different flavor depending on how it's distilled here. I know we're both struggling I'm here to open up. I'm uh, challenged with this yeah, top here, childproof cap there. I mean, the plastic's coming off, but the top is, you know what? I'm getting the wrap, wrap, wrap. You're getting the wrap, wrap, wrap? Yeah, okay. maybe we'll hit that during the break, but we've okay. got another segment coming up with Matt <laughs> in just a little bit. And welcome back once again. It is typically our coldest uh, period of the year, and I know there's snow on the ground, but we are talking gardening nevertheless, and somebody who makes gardening a year-round adventure is Matt Ross. Matt, welcome once again. Oh yeah, glad to be here. All kinds of plants, but we've got all kinds of products here as well. This is different than our typical gardening segment. Oh yeah, today we've got both the plants and the products that they make. Okay. And one of those plants is aloe. So a lot of people in the health food industry and that are really health conscious are really starting to look at the benefits of actually consuming or eating aloe. Wow. So no. many of us know it as, you know, the ultimate skin uh, treatment. When you get yourself cut, you take a piece of fresh aloe make a diagonal cut, and then you can rub the aloe juice on your skin. Especially good with burns. Oh yeah, perfect Amazing. with burns. Yeah. But there's actually other benefits to it too. And I cut a piece right here. If you want to give this a little uh, taste test, it's kind of goopy. Taste? Lick, Not, lick yeah, the you plant? Can just lick the plant. Maybe I'll just use so, my uh, finger. <laughs> and you can actually get kind of a bitter yeah. taste out of it. Mm -hmm. Now what a lot of companies are doing now is they're capitalizing on the fact that that's got some natural sugars in it. It's actually really good. It's got some intrinsic benefits. And they've uh, started making a lot more aloe drinks Aloe more, drinks. Uh, available in the uh, commercial Are setting. they gloppy? We got them right here for you. So we've got all kinds of different things that you're going to start seeing on the uh, 
market if you don't already know about them. Well, these are a great plant to have on your windowsill and your kitchen because I, oh, yeah, I use them all the time. Yeah, and it's a nice plant to have around that's got the added benefit of, hey, if I uh, really wanted to eat something out of my own uh, house plant collection, I could do that. Okay, we're taste testing here? Yeah, so we've got a bunch of different agave products and aloe products. So we'll start okay. with the aloes here. And the first one is a mix, mixture of coconut water and, a, and aloe, which has got a little bit different flavor. Now, a, a, aloe itself is really, really bitter, so it's kind of mixed with, normally, <laughs> normally mixed with a little bit of sugar. You better step up the so game. So I'll step the game now. up and we'll go right to, uh, to Mexico. <laughs> now, you said here. you've been drinking these oh, since yeah. Christmas. This is the best one that you're going to have okay, right here. Okay, thank you. Don't do that to me again. <laughs> Out that of aloe nasty. drinks, we're starting with the most bitter and going to the sweetest. Oh, I need... So Ooh, just like a, a good palate. wine pairing with aloe, you normally want to start with your drier uh, and get into your sweeter. So this well, if I like peaches, I'd like this. Yeah. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that actually is really sweet. Yeah, really, what, really what a that? sweet drink. And that's just straight up aloe mixed with cane wow. sugar, organic cane sugar. That's amazing. So some of you that are looking sugar at water. trying to cut out um, a little bit of the calories or caloric intake, these are anywhere from 35 to about 90 calories per bottle versus about 250 for your average can of wow, coke. Wow, that's huge. I've, I've been on a diet and uh, these are something I'm gonna look into. Now, I muscled with this uh, yeah. blue guave uh, earlier. We got the top off finally. May I finally taste it? Yeah, oh yeah. And it's gonna be just about as sweet as honey. It can be used as a honey or syrup substitute. Whoops. The and that's off. the uh, actual nectar, the uh, agave nectar. Oh, it's thick. So it's, it's like going to have a little bit of taste of syrup mixed with a little bit of that tequila uh, punch that you're thinking of. Joe says so. he puts this on his toast sometimes. Oh, now yeah. I know why. It's delicious. Yeah, it's actually really, really good. And if you're looking mm. for a, a great product that's got some roots back going to Toledo, uh, a gentleman in Rossford's son actually helps out with this company. This is called Ugave. Ooh, gave. And it's, they make a root beer, a uh, cream soda, and some other flavors. And instead of using your high fructose corn syrup, they actually use agave syrup as the flavoring. Huh. It's so root beer. It tastes just like your regular root beer, a little bit less calories, and a lot better for your overall health if you're trying to cut it. That's terrific. Love yeah. it. And then the other, you know, product that they make out of the blue agave is tequila, which we have at the end. So if you'd want to taste a little bit of that. Well... It yep. tastes a little bit better than One if you actually you uh, cut the plant. Now, tequila is a refined distilled product. If I was to cut this plant and open it up, the nectar or the sap that I'm seeing here is actually going to be kind of yellow in color and not as goopy as aloe. Okay. Because what tequila is made out of is not the leaves itself, but the flower stalk. So that's going to be really astringent, very right bitter here. Uh, in 100 years. In 100 years. You'll see a flower stalk come up in 100 years. Right. So what they do is they actually refine that flower stalk by cutting it every year because as soon as it flowers, it dies. And then taking that big stump that's in the middle that's got the floral reproductive parts kind of popping off of it, and they, they burn that down to make tequila. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, uh, on air? No, at this <laughs> oh. time of day. But we'll try. Well, Happy New Year, Matt Ross. You can sip a little bit. So. Great tips. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, uh, well, here's to a Happy New Year. Happy brother. New Year.